I can also choose where exactly I want to save these on my computer. And then when I'm ready, I hit export and it's going to batch export these two items. <laughs> So the next dialog in Inkscape 1.2 that received some updates is going to be the export dialog, which should be great news to many of you. And we can access this by going to file, export, or of course we can use the little mini menu here. And so the first thing you may have noticed about that is that it's no longer just called export PNG. It's now just called export because it exports many different file types, not just PNG. The other thing you'll notice is that this dialog has been cleaned up quite drastically so now if I come over here to custom, we're gonna see these different coordinates here like the left, right, top, bottom, width, and height. And if I come back to page, we're no longer gonna see that. We're just going to see some very basic information about the page size. And it depends what tab you're on as to what information is displayed here. But for example, if we wanna export just this page, we're now gonna get a much more simplified version here of the export dialog. What you're also gonna see here is a preview of what exactly you're exporting, which I think is very much needed. And of course, let's say I wanted to export just this square and then I come over to selection, the preview is gonna show only the square there. So I think that really clears it up as to what exactly you're exporting here in Inkscape. So let's come back to page and you can now choose where to export down here at the bottom of the dialog. So you can click on here and choose a location on your computer where you wanna export this. And one thing to me that's not entirely clear is you have a drop down here for save as type. So you've got JPEG, TIFF, WebP. And then over here, you also have a drop down for select export format. And you have a couple of different options in here, including PDF. So there's actually two locations where you can choose what kind of file type you wanna export this as. I think maybe this is just for when you don't wanna dig through the um, locations here on your computer. You already know this is where you wanna export this to and you're just ready to hit export. There's also a new batch export tab here in the export dialog. So if you wanted to export multiple items simultaneously, you can do that here. You can also export the same thing using different file formats and other different settings as well. So for example, uh, right now we're on just a layer inside the batch export. I can come over here to selection if I just want to export this. And I can also come over to pages. And here you can see I can choose what pages I wanna export. So for example, let's uncheck this page here. And if I come down here, let's say I wanted to export this page as a JPEG, I can click add export. And let's say now I wanted to export this page and go with a PNG maybe or a TIFF, let's choose TIFF. I can also actually change the DPI as well, so I can set different DPIs for different exports. So let's say, I don't know what's a good DPI, dots per inch, uh, 300. So let's say we wanna do that. Now we've got two of these things exporting, which are both listed down here. I can exit out of them at any time if I want. I can also choose where exactly I want to save these on my computer. And then when I'm ready, I hit export and it's going to batch export these two items to my computer. All right, so let's close down all of these tabs we have open right now by clicking on the mini menu and we're gonna go to close panel. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.